Hey guys, it's AK Pro Films, and on this video, I'm going to go over Xcode and how you can make iPhone apps. So, in this particular video, I'm going to go over how you can make a simple iPhone app so you can get used to Xcode and its features and tools. So, with no more further ado, let's jump right into this tutorial right away. Alright, so before we actually begin creating iPhone apps, let me just tell you a couple of things. First, you'll need to have a Mac, and then you'll have to download Xcode from the Mac App Store. And that is free, and you do not need an iOS development account, which is $99 a year, but that account will be necessary to deploy these apps and post them on the iOS Store or the Mac App Store. So, let's start creating our app by using text fields, buttons, alerts and a lot more so let's jump right into this tutorial all right so now let's actually start coding our application so let me pull out the ios app that i made and this is what i did i put in two text box and a button so users can type in here and type in whatever they want and when they press generate it'll create an alert and then you can also just press cancel and I might actually show you how to dismiss that keyboard. I don't know exactly, but I will see if I can do that when we create the app. All right, so now let's open up Xcode and create a new project. So go to New Project, and this will this will launch just like it would when you launch Xcode for the first time. You just want to press Create a New Application. It would be over there, but since I already created one and went up to File New, that's how it worked. Alright, so all we want to do is create a single view application, which is just one view. Press next. And let's just name it something. Alright, so I just did version 2 because I'm going to be demonstrating this to you. And you can type in an organization name and a company identifier. Just make them unique. You can type in whatever you want and make sure it's universal. And you can just check all these boxes, so you'll use storyboards, automatic reference counting, and unit tests. You don't really need to know what those are, but just make sure they're all checked, because that's what I have. So it minimizes the amount of error on your project. So now let's press next, and choose where to save it. Let's just press create. Let's just minimize that project, and let's expand the window, so we have the most amount of workspace. Alright, so we don't really need to worry about this. You can just play with it as much as you want, change the status bar style. But let's just go into the iPhone.storyboard so we can lay out our app. Alright, so all that we need to do is drag in a text field. Let's put that right there. This is where the users will type in their information. And you can also drag in another text field as well because there are two parts to the alert and there we go just make it look nice and we want to drag in a round rec button which is, which stands for a round rectangle button so now let's just say uh, generate alright you can name it whatever you want but I'm just gonna have generate and let's actually change the text color over here it's under the attributes inspector and just change the text color and let's just do it to blue so that looks pretty sweet. And now let's actually start coding. So let's show the assistant editor up here. Let's go to the .h file where you link up all the parts to your app. So now all you want to do is press control, click on your text field, and drag it where the blue line appears. And now we want it as an outlet. And let's name it my label one And uh, let's just press enter or connect. And now let's do it the same for the other text field. My label 2, press connect or enter. And drag in the button. And make sure it's an action, not an outlet. So let's do the action, my button. All right, now let's press connect. And now since we linked up our app, let's go into the viewcontroller.m. And here there's a bunch of code, but don't worry about that. Just worry about what it put in down here, which is the IB action and what you named your button. So for instance, I named it my button. So now let's just have some room down here. 
and now let's actually type in our code. So let's just type in UI alert view, which stands for an alert that will pop up, and let's put in a name for that alert view. Alright, so we want to put in the asterisk, or the little star, you just want to name it whatever you want. I'll just name it alerts. And you want to put in an equal sign, and then you want to put in two brackets. You want to type in UI alert view again, and you want to type in alloc, or whatever you want to call that, A-L-L-O-C. And next what you want to do is in this set of brackets, you want to type in it with title, but then it'll pop up with all the code. All right, now let's press enter. And for the title, let's link it up to this first one. So what you want to do is type in the underscore to find your labels, or it could have been text fields, you could name it whatever you want, like before. But let's do my label one. Make sure you type in that underscore so you see all of the ones that you listed here. So let's click on my label one, double click, and then we want to add dot text. All right, so then we'll get the text and display it as the alert title. Let's do the message as the underscore my label two dot text. And let's change the delegate to nil. Nil means nothing. That's what I think it is. But nil, we just want to type in nil. And for the cancel button, let's just write cancel. But when we want to write something, we want to make it a string. So we want to put in the at sign, quotes, and then I'll make this a string. So let's type in, let's type in cancel. All right, and then it'll end the quotes for us. And the other button, we don't want another button, so we want to type in nil. All right, so there we go. We have the basics of our alert view there, and we want to end this with a semicolon. All right, and to make this alert show up, all we want to do is put in brackets, alert, show. So it will show the alert. And why I put an alert is because I named it alert. All right, so then also we want to make sure the keyboard dismisses. So let's put in another bracket and let's put in underscore my label one. Or you can put in any of these labels. Let's just put my label one and resign first responder. All right, and then you want to put in a semicolon. All right, so there the keyboard will dismiss when we press that button as well. So now let's actually have fun and test this app so we can make sure it works and there's no bugs in the program. So let's press run up here and it will open up the iOS simulator and uh, let's press OK. It's already in use. So let's open up our other project and let's stop that. You won't need to worry about this, but I'm just making sure the simulator will open and we want to press on run. It'll say build succeed. And iOS simulator is included with Xcode, so you don't have to worry about any more downloads. But it looks like we're ac actually testing on the iPad. So let's quit the simulator and change it from iPad to iPhone. So it'll preview on the iPhone 6.1 simulator. And then you just want to press on run. Then it'll open up the iOS simulator and it will pop up your app. So let's type in something like, hi, this is an alert. Press generate and it says, hi, this is an alert. And you can also press cancel. So that's pretty sweet, but the keyboard didn't dismiss for some reason. So let's just make sure we are actually typing in the right thing. My label one, my label one. Perfect resign first responder. Press run. Let's see if this works. Let's actually type in something. There we go. The keyboard did dismiss. So for some reason on the first on the first try, the keyboard didn't dismiss, but on this take it did. So let's just press cancel. And you can see that this app works without a flaw but I don't know why that keyboard didn't dismiss on the first try. But it did on the second time, so that's what matters. So there we go, we created our first iPhone app. 
So you can just play around with this app, change the colors, add more code if you want to. And also, before you leave this tutorial, and also, make sure to comment and go to my Twitter page as well, at AKProFilms, and let me know if you want me to make more Xcode tutorials just like this one. Thanks for watching.